So, hey guys, this is Mikra. Wanted to make a quick video on some new bugs that were found that haven't been patched yet. Just as a reminder for the Halloween patch. The, the first one we've already kind of talked about before. Uh, so the, the PvP crit damage taken modifier that you see for the equip load is still bugged. Every time that you die or respawn, you need to unequip and re-equip your gear. Otherwise, that bonus that will reduce crit damage will just not apply. Uh, there are a few others that are also bugged as well right now. One of them pertains to the new heart rune, uh, which, or not the new heart rune, sorry, the new jewelry piece from the elemental band. Basically, what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to give you a 4% in power for 6 seconds for each unique, uh, basically, elemental effect that you apply to an enemy. It says it's not supposed to work off of damage over times or achievements, but it 100% works off of those right now. So that's basically the bug with that one. You can see from my spear here, it has a two mint, has nothing else on there. If I do an auto attack, I gain 6% in power, so we know that's bugged. Uh, there is another thing that is kind of weird right now, too, where lower gear score items are still beneficial in terms of PvP. So if I use like the 75 gear score Ice Gauntlet as an offhand, for example, my main hand will do like around 7.5% more damage and I'll take 7.5% less damage. This is like in place to compensate for early level balancing, but I'd argue that the gear score related balancing should just be like moved more towards early level balancing because this is still something that's beneficial at the end game and doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, and then like lastly, in terms of big bugs, uh, deckhands promotions and earring that you get from the main story quest. This has been out for like, I think uh, around six months now, but it has retaliate on there, which gives you a stack of 8% damage for 5 seconds after blocking or taking a hit. So, And this applies to either weapon. And basically, this is the uh, weapon gem effect that we have in armor. So that's just like not fair for obvious reasons. Free 24% in power is kind of insane. Uh, elemental band is like roughly a 28% in power. And it, it gives you 6 seconds per effect. So if you have like 4 effects trigger... That would be 24 seconds of that much in power. So that one's like kind of nuts as well. And it seems like it's going around as like kind of a, a meta build that people or meta artifact that people are trying to take advantage of in like any build they possibly can. So those are a little silly. Uh, one last one that I don't think is a, a bug, but kind of noteworthy too is if you have vines and you have a purifying heart, that no longer will cleanse the vine. So anytime you are running vines, it probably makes sense to cut that purifying heart, use a different perk on there. Or just go over to stone form because stone form works still with purifying heart or they just made it work with purifying heart uh, I'd say stone form is probably going to be cu coming back as like a very meta thing for a lot of different builds And we're gonna see things kind of fall off in terms of like vines a little bit But vines are still really good like in a war setting you could still cleanse before you use it It's just it's has the ability to kill you now basically while you use it So you have to be kind of careful when you're actually going for it uh, I think those are all the the big bugs that are related to like gear pieces. There are some other ones like anytime you queue for an event right now. Uh, this is one that AGS knows of. The other was AGS knows of too, but aren't like seeming to patch very well. Anytime you enter a queue for any sort of event, you have a pretty significant chance of just crashing right now for some reason. Uh, and that's not very fun. It applies, I've seen it apply to myself in the raid, I've seen it apply in OPR, I've seen it apply to mutations. So it's just not a great experience with this recent Halloween patch. And then uh, I guess lastly, this is one that's like very known and people have made all sorts of videos on it. But if you look at the the new like gear from the uh, or actually, I think I have some of my inventory. Uh, if you look, get the new Halloween gear from the Night Vale. Uh, basically, all this gear requires you to have 205 armoring to use it at all. So it's just like not useful at all for new fresh start players. And it feels like AGS shouldn't have been as strict about the 700 gear score, like trying to make that like more difficult to obtain. I know what they're trying to do because in terms of their activities right now, soul trials uh, and regular expeditions can get you up to 650, OPR, 3v3, uh, seasonal trials and mutated expeditions can get you up to 700 and then the raids in the PvP zone can get you up to 725. So they're trying to encourage you to do like some of these other mo like modes and they're trying to say that hey you need to have some sort of like level to take advantage of these events now but the problem is is 
that it basically means the event is useless except for cosmetics for a lot of players and i just don't think it's like as rewarding the event does drop 650 gear score items so if you are like a brand new player it's not bad to do to get under, up to 650 uh, but if you want to get up to that next level of 700 you are going to have to have 205 armoring and that is not really obtainable from for a new player i know some people that have really high armoring already like i have really high jewel crafting but uh it 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 is not cheap to get that high of a uh, level especially early on with the fresh start because all the materials are just super super expensive so I, th I think that's it in terms of like the kind of bug roundup for now but i just wanted to like kind of give you guys like a status on some of the bugs there are some other exploits too that i don't really want to share publicly yet unless ags doesn't fix them like in the next couple of uh weeks because other other pvp players are starting to pick up on them they're starting to use them and they if used by a widespread com like the widespread community would basically make pvp unplayable until they were patched and i'm trying to get them fixed before they get more widely spread but i, I could already see that they're starting to be used a little bit more and they're starting to float around certain discords so uh, i feel like ags is time to fix some of the bugs I, i've reported to them is like kind of coming up and it's getting a little little sketchy uh, i was hoping that they'd fix them so i didn't have to like do the whole thing that happened with the gear score last time where we kind of had to go nuclear in order for them to fix it but this is starting to look like it's getting to the point where it's like if they don't fix it then it's, it's just not going to be a fun experience for anyone and i'd rather everyone know bugs than certain people just abuse the bugs and other players just don't know why they're dying the biggest one right now by far is like the pvp crit damage taken bug like that affects literally everybody whether you want it to or not and it's really annoying because you have to take off your gear in order to fix it, right? So I just have an empty gear set to get around that. Uh, but it's, like, very easy to forget to do this. And it's just, like, a, kind of a pain to, to work around versus some of the other ones are a little bit more minor in nature. You, like, really have to build to take advantage of the bugs. So, yeah, let, let me know what you think there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.